How's it going everybody? Marcus here from Roman Reel again. Today we're out in Wyoming. We'll be fishing on the Green River below Fontenelle Dam. Uh, the flows today will be about 800 to 850 CFS. Uh, we'll be fishing for numerous different species. We're going to pick up some rainbows, we're going to pick up browns, uh, some Colorado River cutthroat, and even a couple cutbows. Uh, today uh, we've got, we're running a three fly set up. So what we're going to do is we're going to run a 9 foot 5x liter uh, monofilament. We're going to tie on with some 4x fluorocarbon, run it down to our first fly which is going to have a heavy tungsten bead head on it so it gets down. Then we're going to run a smaller fly and then what we're going to do is we're going to run a third uh, emerger pattern uh, and we'll be fishing all day long and let's see what we pick up. Oh look at he must have caught something. He's looking at these. Hey, you mind if I fish below you? Because then you basically you can. This guy hooked up with one of his friend's hogs. There's two, three, four right here. Got that on film too. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Cut bow. Beautiful. Cut bow. I'm just lifting out of the water just to leave For the release. Oh, okay. Do you want the release? Yeah. Ready?
for the gear that I'm running today, personally, I'm running a five weight, nine foot Sage fly rod. Uh, I'm also using the T5 or the Torque 5 from Galvin Fly Reels. Uh, I've got the Rio Grande uh, fly line on, on my rod. Um, it's specifically made for fast action rods, so that's why I went with the Rio Grande. Uh, okay, today we are using Rio's Floral Flex Strong in a 4X. Uh, it's got the same diameter as 4X, but it's got a higher braking strength. Uh, we have a CZ Caddis with tungsten head, a Frenchie, and a Barza Merger are the three flies that we're running on this That's set. Crap. That's crap. Just keep coming to the bank. We've got some diversity up in here. It's right here. Oh, right straight in front of me. <laughs> That's a pretty brown. That's a big, beautiful brown. Go He's freckles. Buttery. God. Smile for the camera. Release. Your <laughs> <The> belly pop. <laughs> You're still good. Jeez. What a pig. Ready? Look around. Stunning. You ready to go on the water? Yep.
dude, look at how fat this thing is. I just jack my fly. Like this is. That's a five minute major. Where's your rock? I chucked it back oh, there. there. I chucked it. <laughs> dude, look at that football. Dude. Okay, I guess we'll. Okay, I'll just put this guy right here. I guess. You got the net. Another flip though, huh? Yeah. Right? Just gorgeous, gorgeous trout. That's beautiful. Yeah. You know right? you I, I got picks, ready? yeah. I did both at the same it's time. It's, it's ready, so. He's ready to go. Ready? Yeah.
Hey guys, thanks for watching today. Uh, remember, go on our website for all sorts of different adventures that we've been on before. Uh, like and subscribe on our YouTube. Uh, when you're on our website, go ahead and visit our partners page and that'll give you a list of some of the sponsors that we have. Uh, order through them, it keeps us on the water, it helps us give you information. Uh, if you do, make sure you support local fly shops as well. Make sure if you do buy like a license from a local fly shop that you do buy something else. They actually lose money if you put it on a credit card. So uh, a lot of the time when you go into local fly shops, make sure you have good fly shop etiquette. You go in, you're always going to ask for information. Make sure you do spend a little money in those places. Those guys are on the water constantly. Those guys are the ones that will bring that information into you to help you get out on the water. Uh, so keep them in business as well. Go ahead, go buy a hat, go buy some flies, buy some tippet. You know, proper fly, fly shop etiquette is to make sure that you do purchase a little bit of something from that shop for that information. Uh, thanks again for watching and hopefully we'll see you soon on our next adventure. Bye. Today personally I'm running a five weight nine foot sage fly rod um, I'm also using the t5 or the torque 5 from Galvin fly reels uh, I've got the Rio Grande uh, fly line on on my rod um, it's specifically made for fast action rods so that's why I went with the Rio Grande uh, 